Hey everybody, I'm currently um, just driving around an industrial state because I basically finished work earlier and got home and was like, okay, I'm home now. It was like half six, about seven now, I think, or something like that, I don't know. Um, and I was like, oh, I'll just stay here. And I was like, no, 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 no don't just stay, it's boring. So I decided to come out on the bike. And I've never really explored down this bit. I don't know what's down here. Ah! Okay. Okay, I've just discovered a major shortcut. That's awesome. I'm going to have to remember this one. Uh, let's see, what random things can I tell you about? Well, the other day, right, I'm in Boots. This just sort of highlighted to me what the UK is getting like. And I wasn't impressed much. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, okay, so I'm in Boots and there's these two kids just sort of in the aisle. In the way, but, you know, I'm just kids. They're about, I don't know, five and six, girl and a boy. And they're right in the way, and they're being a bit annoying, but you know, I'm just dealing with it. But um, then, the father comes along, and he just walks up to him, and the kid's touching something on the shelf, and he just goes, whack, across the back of his head. I was like, fuck, that wasn't holding the back, you really were lending into that one. I was like, fucking hell, okay. I don't know if I fully agree with that. Um... But it gets so much worse at every stage. As I then met them further around the store, um, and then this, this wife appeared. And I was like, okay, husband, wife, two kids, fair enough, whatever. <laughs> and then we got up to the counter, um, and I'm still behind him in the queue. And the father turns around to the kids and goes, oh, I wonder what your real parents are doing. I was like, no, oh, don't do that, don't do that. Little kids, little girl's face. Ah, mummy, what is this? And, um... Yeah, he, then he's going, um... Oh, yeah, yeah, we, we're not your real parents. We found you in the hospital. You, to the other one, we found on the street. They're just like, oh, daddy, daddy, why are you... <laughs> so I check now. Daddy, daddy, why are you being so mean to me, daddy? Oh, that almost sounds like, Charlie, Charlie, come play with us, Charlie. Anyway, I'm getting off the subject here. Yeah, so he says that to them, and I'm just thinking, F okay, right. So he's just smacked the kid around the head, and now he's telling them they're not their parents, and they stole them from the hospital. Great. And then it gets even better when I realise what they're buying. They were buying big, and I mean big, bottles of lube. And I mean this, big bottles. Like family sized bottles of lube. And I'm just thinking, fair enough. I mean, you know, whatever. But the point is, you got your kids with you. And all you've come in here to buy, what the fuck are these guys up to? <laughs> Fuck, I'll cut the middle. <laughs> yeah, um, the point of it is, really, if you're going to go and buy lube, are you really going to go and buy that with your kids? Is that the most sensible thing you can do? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> This is quite entertaining. Is, yeah, is that really the thing? You want to be buying? With your kids? I thought, no, probably not. But is that what England's come to? Fathers that are just absolutely shocking with their kids. I was like, Jesus Christ, not only is that kid gonna grow up 
to learn, what the fuck is that? To learn um, that the way, if you do something wrong, you get belted around the back of the head. It wasn't sort of, I didn't get the feeling this guy would be sort of encouraging his son to learn and and do more important things. I'm so not allowed in here. Warning CCTV. Yeah, but he's probably fat. He couldn't run fast enough. Wait for the guy to come out. What the fuck are you doing, man? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out. Of all places to come, why do I come to a sewage treatment? Oh, Waybridge. Oh, I hear people. Mm. Maybe I... Oh, doors open. Maybe I shouldn't be in here. Yeah, um... What was I talking? Oh yeah, what was that? Oh! Oh no! Oh, that's horrible! This is so horrible! Oh, bunny, you are fucking dead! I've seen some dead bunnies, but that one is fucking dead! Look at him! Oh my god! You... Ah, ah, ah. Oh, and his jaw and his teeth are hanging out! Poor bunny! Oh yeah, and also, when I walked out of boots, there's this 15 year old kid just walking, oh, oh, oh stare, stare, just walking down the road, just being really loud and overconfident, trying to look like the fucking the big man. I so wanted to walk up to him and just like, you shut the fuck up! And you know he would have done. Oh, I'm sorry, but this, this. When I leave Hayley and I get into mainland Britain, and I'm not saying the mainland Britain's like this, it's this, this narrow band between where I live and further up north. There's just, and I don't mean any insult to you, if you live from that area, I'm sure you're a jolly nice person. But you know your next door neighbours, and you know they're dicks. Yeah, what has England come to? We used to be a country of engineers, of intelligent people. And people aspired to become more intelligent and, and learn more and learn a trade and, and be skilled and successful in life. <laughs> what it seems anyone wants to do these days is get on the fucking doll. Oh, seagulls. Boom, bump it. Is that what England's come to? I fucking hope not. I hope it's not like that all around the country. I hope in your area, like, there is the minor minority, but the majority are uh, good people. Oh, I haven't been up that for a while. Oh, fuck! Alright, Mike, alright, alright. Alright, Betty, calm down. I don't know, it's kind of sad. But then, who am I to talk? Who's to say that I'm any better than them, I suppose? I'm just a bit of a nutcase who rides a bike round. Are you talking about nutcase things, actually? Um, you might notice that Recently, Jake and I have released, well, I've, I have, well, we, I think we've both done it, but just recently we released sort of a bit of a crazy video at the same time. It was not intentional. Uh, it just happens. But, um, yeah, it always amazes me how people are like, man, what drugs are you on? God, too much caffeine. Duh, 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 duh. No, I can tell you now, me and Jake, both pretty much just like that most of the time. And we're not on drugs, we're not crazy, well, I don't know, a little bit more free, maybe. Oh no. I don't really know um, what I had planned for this video, but I seem to have been talking for a while, so I assume that something I've said is of interest or makes some sense. Let's face it, it doesn't always make sense, does it? Um, but there you go. Log done. Oh, to get a bigger bike. Oh, do you want to hear some really shit news? Um, it would appear that my license money has gone with all the things I've had to spend out on and shit wages because I'm not getting enough hours and shit. It's kind of 
meant that I think most of my license money is gone. I don't know. Um, I'm still going to just, I'm going to get the theory out of the way, I think, and then work out what I can do from there. I mean, if I do mod one and then go on mod two at a later date, I don't know. But it's a bit poo, isn't it? But never mind. Shit happens. You have to learn to deal with this shit. I'm learning to deal with it. It's not making me go crazy or anything. Ah! Ah! Um, hi! Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> anyway, right, for fuck's sake, end the video! End the video! End it! End it! End it! I'm not wearing my bag with my remote on, am I? No. Fuck. I have to do it with my handy poo. Helmet fits in. We're all good. Yes. Hmm. Quite. Funny thing, thing about this thing is though, the heavier you are, the stronger it is.